an act of placing or arranging. And arranging in order to put something in a certain position. So if you have your Bibles, you might want to take out some pen and paper. I got some scriptures for y'all today. Y'all mind if I do a little teaching today? Go ahead. So we're going to go to a very famous, very popular scripture verse. Very popular. Y'all really don't need your Bibles for it. But I want you to turn to it anyway. Is that all right? Amen. John 3.16. Okay, say with me. Come on. 
Was not the price paid in full? Yes, it was. This is exactly what God did when he did what? He gave his son to die on the cross for you and I for our sins. The just for the unjust that he might bring us to God. 1 Peter 3.18 there at Calvary, the sin problem which separated God and man was settled eternally. For he had made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. 2 Corinthians 5, 21. The Lord Jesus Christ then, he is the redeemer. He has redeemed us. He has ransomed us. He has brought us Come on, come on, come on. The ransom paid by which we have been brought back to God yeah. is the shed blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Right. His life laid down in substitution for us. Yeah. We have indeed been bought with a price. Yes. 1 Corinthians 6.20. I told you I got some scriptures for y'all today. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. Oh I have called thee by name. Thou art mine. Isaiah 43 and 1. Someone shout, Redemption! Redemption! Paid in full. Paid in full. Paid in Jesus. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. We're talking about finances on today. Come on, Pastor. He gave, he gave, he gave. Neither is he that planted anything, neither he that watered. 
earth, but God that giveth the increase. Yeah. Now he that planteth and he that warneth are one. And every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we are laborers together with God. Ye are God's husbandry. Ye are God's building. So for my daughter, I'm going to read this in the Passion Translation once again. For when you divide yourself up in groups, a Paul group and a Paulus group, you're acting like people without the Spirit's influence. Who is a Paulus, really? Or who is Paul? Are they both just servants through whom he believed our message? Aren't each of us doing the ministry the Lord has assigned to us? I planted the church, and Apollos came and cared for it, but it was God who caused it to grow. We're talking about finances. This means the one who plants is not nobody special, nor the one who waters, for God is the one who brings the supernatural growth. Mm -hmm. Now the one who plants and the one who waters are equally important yeah. and on the same team. Yeah. But each, each, each yeah. will reward will be rewarded for his own work. We are co-workers with God, and ye are God's cultivated garden, the house He built. Look at your neighbor. Say destiny. Yes, it is. is inside, it is inside. inside. The, seed. the seed. In Genesis, which is the beginning, everything was created for purpose. Now, in order for something to grow, it must first begin with a seed. There is a seed inside every living thing. Might I remind you that you were once a seed? And look at you now. You are planted to grow. The sperm cell that created you swam. And all the million others did too. But you were chosen to be planted for purpose. I am also reminded that planting looks no different than burial. Jesus. He said both, you have to dig and dig deep. Both are concealed. The burial, though, is for dead to get rid of something. The planting of the seed comes with a transformation to come out greater than it was when it went down. Come on, look at your neighbor and tell them you were once a seed. You were once a seed. Now look at your other neighbor and tell them death. Without watering, the destiny will die 
come to church will be 100% tight. Amen, oh. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Amen, oh. Amen. 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 We declare and decree that Flame of Fire Ministries come to church will be a house of prayer. Amen, oh. Amen. 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 We declare and decree that Flame of Fire Ministries come to church will be a house of 100%. Amen. For God so loved the world that he gave. I know some of y'all still trying to put these feet in there. Come on, I know, I know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. But I believe some of us are not consistent with our finances. Come on. Should I say not faithful? Come on. In the area is because you may not quite understand the process of planting, reaping, and sowing. Come on, Pastor. <laughs> so God so loved the world that he gave, he gave, he gave. He gave. He gave. He gave. So, when one tithes, tithe simply means tenth. Can I teach for one? Tithing is a teacher to give. 100% already belongs to the Lord. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. That's in the word. He said, I gave you 90%. But the first tip he said, it's mine. The tithe is holy to the Lord. Leviticus, write it down. Some of y'all don't believe it. Leviticus 27, go back and read it, verses 30 to 33. The tithe is not yours. <laughs> it already belongs to God. Therefore, in tithing, we are giving to God what is really already His. That is why we tithe from our gross, not from our net pay. For tithe can rebuke
he said, for some of us, the bottom line is, it's a trust issue. Oh, come on. They don't trust him to pay their tithes because they scared of Duke. Come on, yeah. Come on They don't trust to pay their tithes because they scared the water going to get cut off. Come on, Pastor. They don't trust to pay their tithes because they pray that if they park their car in the garage and in the driveway, the repo man will come. come on. But last I read, God is our source. Last I read that he is our keeper. Last I read that if we have seed in the ground, we got grace to come to him. Your children here, but for 
to him. 
Yes, oh. As yes. soon as I said the words, on numerous occasions, we would turn around, get to church. Oh, here, here, here are a pair of shoes for Terrell. Oh, I was at the mall, and I seen something. Oh, they oh, like God. this. Give this to their oh, God. Well, you know what? I got something in the truck. Come on out to the car with me. These matches, the girls might like these because they all glittery and all that other stuff. Give these to me. Come on now. Oh, Only do it. Had seeds. Yes, he will. In the ground. Oh, my God. Seed. Destiny is in the seed. So, okay, y'all may be saying, well, what's the difference? I'm trying to do two in one, okay? What's the difference between tithes and first fruit? Y'all know we doing first fruit on first Sunday. First fruit is a love offering. And so first fruit is what you give above and beyond what you would probably do, just a regular type thing. Let me give y'all some scriptures. Let me help y'all. I'm ready to go to my seat. Because y'all looking at me like, okay, this is, this is too much. Okay. Exodus 23, 19. Proverbs 3, 9 through 10. Three, nine through ten. The Holy Spirit said you was gonna say that too. He said, "Sherry, why ask that scripture again?" So we'll get it again. Proverbs three, verses nine through ten. First fruit is when you give the first and the best of your fruit unto God. Uh huh. So what's gonna happen on first Sunday when you all bring your first fruit? We will take that first fruit, and according to the scriptures. Exodus, um, Ezekiel 4430. It says the best of the first fruit and all of your special gifts will be given to the priest, which is Pastor and I. You are to give them the first portion of your ground meal so that the blessing may rest in your household. Yes, Lord. Leviticus 23 10 says, When you come into the land which I give you and reap this harvest, then you shall bring a sheep or first fruits of your harvest to the priest. So we are to take that first fruit, wave it before the Lord, touch and agree with you, whatever your request is for that first fruit that you're planting. All right? So the first fruit is a love offering. It's above what you would normally give, you know, being your, one, your tithes and offering. Okay? Everybody clear on that? Amen. So that's what we do on first Sunday. So again, saints of the most high God, please get this. Your destiny is in your seat. You can reverse. I don't care what's in the family bloodline. I don't care if they say diabetes is running in the family. Come on. when you plant your seed, you reverse. You can reverse the curse. Amen. Amen. I don't care if they say depression. Runs in the family. We know about that. We made a decision. Her and I, we reversing this. Uh-uh. We ain't accepting that. And it won't be on none of our children either. Your seed reverses the curse. You're plenty. God, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to do it in faith. I'm going to plant this seed in faith. I'm going to plant this seed in faith. All we want is you to move. All we want is you to move. So let it fall. Let it fall. That's the only way. When you position yourself out of obedience by planting your seed, you force the hand of God. Amen. Do you do that? Yes, Lord. Come on. Come on now. When you put that seed in there, cover it up with dirt, and you go back and you water it, you water it, you water it. Look at my baby. I'm sorry, not you. I'm talking about the flesh. <laughs> 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 But the more I watered it, the more I reminded it of what it's supposed to do. It started manifesting. Yes, Lord. The more I would rub on the 
leaves. And the more I would, boy, look at you. You need some sun like today? Okay, mommy gonna give you some sun. You need some water? Okay, I'm gonna give you some water. The more you begin to talk up to your seed, you put your seed on assignment. Right. Come on, that's right. When I plant this first fruit, God, I am believing that I will be debt free. I am believing that all my debts are going to be paid in full. When I plant this first seed, I am coming to you because I want a house this year. Come on, put your seed on assignment. Don't just plant. Put your seed on assignment. Don't just plant. Put it on assignment. Put it on assignment. Yes, Lord. And y'all know what? I ain't the finance person in the family either. But I know the principle. I caught hold of the principle. I read the scriptures. And every time it's time to pay, and I send that tithes to Bishop, I say, this is what we need. This is what's needed. Y'all know our basement flooded? Did y'all know that? Oh, yes. Most of y'all ladies should know because we ain't downstairs now. We upstairs. Our basement flooded. And the insurance company had the nerve to say, we only going to do this much. But I remember, we had seed in the ground. And a door opened that we didn't even know was there. Come on, Jesus. Come on, glory. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Our seed. Reverse that curse. And it, guess when it happened? Come on. The first day of the fast. <laughs> Two o'clock in Sunday morning. We had to come to the church and wash up and get dressed. Y'all ain't even know. Come on, Jesus. <laughs> but because of the seeds that we plant. And I know, I know somebody just said. Well, I don't have finances like that. I heard you. I heard you. Speak, Holy Ghost. Yes. Prophet Deborah normally does this every year. I don't think she did it this year or not. But she normally gets up and say, let me tell y'all a secret. When you get your income tax, Take care of all the church stuff ahead of time and get it out the way. First, Pay your first. building fund for the whole year and get it out the way. Isn't that what she said? So, for you all that haven't paid your tithes, you got to pay your tithes from your income tax. Ooh. 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 <laughs> this is the month of love. Yeah. Amen. This is the month of love. What does that have to do with whatever it is? Everything. Your seed that you give, because he gave his seed. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Anybody have any questions? Anybody have any questions? Come on, Mr. Z. Anybody have any questions? The difference between tithes, offering, first fruit, building fund. Everybody clear? Everybody clear? Amen. Amen. The destiny is in the seed, saints. You can give your first fruit anytime. We're just doing it first fruit celebration for the year on first Sunday. But you can give your fruit anytime. You can give your first fruit as many times during the year as you desire. As many times as you desire. Amen. 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 Everybody got it? Yes. We designed it to increase. We designed our prosper even that your soul may prosper. Like it's all with your soul. All with your
with your seed. All with your seed. Hallelujah. All with your seed. Amen. 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 God bless you.